I'm a huge fan of the term, you can only sell the value you create. And when you think about that, if you only start engaging with somebody when they've come inbound to your organization and they're potentially 75% of the way through the process, we've lost three quarters of the time to be able to generate that value. Effectively, they've narrowed to the point of which there is no negotiations. Can you do what we want or not? It's also interesting because I think you, you've lost the right to influence the solution that Absolutely. they decide is necessary. And yeah. when you work in a complex sales environment, there are, a, there are many levers and nuances to yeah. those solutions that, you're right, becomes a pricing exercise and potentially around the wrong set of criteria. Hmm. So here's, here's the thing as well. So we're, we're saying in one breath, we'd like to use uh, SDRs to help build our pipeline and develop our opportunities. <clears throat> We also said at the beginning of this section, a lot of people look to hire less experienced, um, uh, less costly resources to be able to do that. And yet right at the beginning of the sales cycle is where you have the greatest potential to influence the future value or direction of a particular deal. It's a real juxtaposition in terms of we're literally giving the gold uh, right at the beginning of the sales cycle to somebody else. So. That says to me, that excites me about uh, both the importance of that role within an organization, uh, the potential for it to explode revenue within an organization. But as you say, absolute key to getting that right is one, uh, the enablement, training, selection, coaching of those resources early in their career typically. And two is that handoff process to make sure that the rapport and the relationship and the credibility that has been built up early in the sales cycle yeah. isn't lost as you hand it over uh, to the closing team, to the traditional salespeople. 